Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading, Pisces, I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I hope you guys are doing amazing. How are you feeling, my lovely Pisces? Uh, before we get into your reading, also I want to apologize if you guys hear noise in the background. It is extremely windy right now, so... Uh, anyways, let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2020. Now, your first card here is the Queen of Pentacles. You also have the Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so you may be dealing with Earth Energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Queen of Pentacles, I feel that for some of you guys in this month of December, you're highly going to rely on, uh, you're going to be relying on a woman that perhaps gives you very good advice. Uh, this could be an individual that is, uh, I feel that they're very authentic and they're very true to their advice. And I feel you're going to be going to them to get some type of guidance or some type of uh some type of wisdom um now this could be mother figures for some of you guys while for others it could be a friend or some a relative someone that is nearby someone that is very trustworthy um with the seven of pentacles this is indication of looking i i feel that for some of you guys you're gonna be really analyzing and looking to the past for some of you guys this could be nostalgia we are around the holidays and um you know, people have a tendency of really getting in their feelings. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're going to be really like looking back, but not in a sad way. I feel that for a lot of you guys, it, it's reminiscing about the past and seeing how much you've overcame or how much you have grown. Um, for others of you, really analyzing uh, and taking some time to step back and take a deep breath. Um I feel that you guys have been really working really hard towards something. For some of you guys, this could be spiritual awakening. For others of you, this could be just really focused and determined in your work, uh, in your finances. Um, and what they're saying here uh, with the Queen of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles, a lot of you guys are really going to be like taking, taking it to the next level. Now, this could represent... Um, this could represent getting a promotion at work if you've been really diligently working. I feel that people are really starting to see your hard work and the effort that you put into what you're doing. Uh, while others, there is some type of achievement that's happening here. Um, if you're currently going to school or you're studying for something, um, I definitely do see recognition coming through for some of you guys. Uh, this could be classes. This could be graduating. Uh, this could be... Uh, your colleagues and uh, your boss or people around you really acknowledging your hard work and determination. But I definitely do see like um, a lot of abundance around you guys for this month and going into January. Now, for others of you with the Hierophant and the Page of Wands, I feel that for some of you, there was a specific individual, especially for those of you guys that are single, there was a specific individual that uh, could have had some type of connection with you now this could have been a person that really sparked your interest uh for others this could be a friend or someone around you um and i feel that they were really like they had their this is giving me like i'm getting two different scenarios so for some of you guys it could have been um if you're married it could have been almost like a temptation I want to say, um, I dare say, <laughs> almost like temptation. And I feel that this person could be, um, this could be a fire energy that you're dealing with, a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, and the reason I'm saying for those of you guys that are married is because we do have the Hierophant here. Um, with the Page of Wands, this is passion, this is intensity, this is desire. So I feel that for some of you guys, you were really tempted and this could be uh, in connection with work. It could be a colleague or someone that recently um, started being around you or surrounding themselves around you. But I see them looking away from you. So for some of you guys, it could be almost like a feeling of 
like they really sparked your interest um but i see them very like uh, scattered energy or i see them focused on it could be a, that they're focused on us on another individual um nonetheless i feel that it's very important for you to like believe in yourself pisces and the reason i'm saying this is because i feel that there is I'm getting different messages for some of you guys, uh, especially those of you guys that are committed or married. I feel that there could have been temptation around you or temptation around your partner, but I feel that they they know exactly what it is that they have, and I feel that that's something they're not willing to jeopardize. You, on the other hand, if you feel in your relationship that there is something lacking or uh, that there's something that is missing in your relationship. I feel that you may be tempted to step out of the relationship. Um, and you don't, if that's how you're feeling and that's what you're going through, I would not advise if you are in fact dealing with the fire energy or for others of you, this could be an earth energy as well, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, but if you're feeling like you're wanting to step out of the relationship, I feel that you may be tempted to do so only because there's something lacking in your relationship. But what they're saying here is the person that you're willing to jeopardize your relationship for is not someone that is genuinely interested in you or that has some type of, like, I don't see them being emotionally invested in this situation. So again, it could be purely a physical thing. And if that's the case, then, you know, the advice would be, why would you risk you know, why would you risk the commitment that you have for something that is only purely physical? And I feel that you guys are going to get more emotionally invested than the person that you're interested in, like stepping out with. I hope that makes sense. Now, for others of you, what they're saying here is there may be some communication coming in from a Taurus, um, Virgo or Capricorn. Um, and it, it's a message that's coming through that may put you in a situation of like them questioning your intentions is what I'm hearing. Um, now, this could be rumors. This could be like uh, within the family dynamic. This could be rumors coming back around something you said where the person um, and it could be an earth energy um, could become very like defensive or very upset and there is like a need for there is a need for a heart to heart conversation or, or there is a need for an apology. Um, and this could be like I said, this could be rumors that are coming in that this individual finds out could be something that you said could have been something that uh, perhaps was misconstrued. Um, but I feel that on their part, you know, they may feel some type of way. And there's a need of you clearing that if this individual, you know, significantly, significantly means something to you, which I feel like could be family related. Um, so again, try to not uh, hold on to pride if it's something that, like I said, whether it was misconstrued or whether it was misinformation or uh, just a misunderstanding. Um fess up to it i feel like if you deny it um it's not gonna end well so <laughs> all right let's see what's going on here let's see what spirit's direct message is for you pisces i know it seems all over the place for some reason i feel i'm getting a lot of different messages for some of you guys um i feel that for this month there's going to be some type of situation that arises where there may be need to be completely honest or transparent um, because I feel that there is a connection or a link here uh, where rumors may come to this person uh, that is around you that they may feel like very offended or they may feel like let down by you. Um, and the Hierophant usually with the Seven of Pentacles indicates a need to apologize. Um, with the page of wands you know you could you know tap into your shadow side and be a bit immature about it but i feel that if you take that route it's greatly going to impact the relationship that you have with this individual and i feel that it's connected with family so just putting it out there for you guys okay 
Let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the direct message for Pisces for this reading, Spirits? What is the direct message for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we have... Can you see that? It's like a lightning bulb in the bottom. Uh, sorry, in the back it says, figure shit out on your own. Wow. Okay. I feel that this could be in connection with the situation that they're showing me in regards to some type of family misunderstanding. Um, sometimes it's necessary for us to figure shit out, literally. Um, if you are dealing with... If you're in a committed relationship and you're dealing with an individual that is, you know, really tempting, I should say, um, I feel that it's important. What they're trying to say with this card is use your mind, use your head. Uh, don't follow your heart's desire in this situation because I feel that should you take it to the next level with this person that is coming up as a temptation, I feel that you're going to end up getting hurt, Pisces. So again, just be careful with that, okay? All right, my lovelies. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight. I know it was like all over the place and different messages for different um, for different people. So I hope you take what resonates and what doesn't. Um, then don't. <laughs> I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Okay. Bye.